All right, welcome back everybody. In this video today, we're going to be answering a question I've got a lot of recently, which is my microphone, let's say for my pastor, is coming into my console. It's going out to my stream. I've followed some of your other videos about setting up a matrix or an aux bus, but the level is so low, how do I fix it? So I want to start with this main scene here and take a look at typically what I see when I go to a church. Most churches have their amplifiers and PA installed by an install company. And what they do is they crank up the amplifiers as loud as they can go so that you don't have to call them back and say, hey, it's too soft after I just spent a bunch of money getting my PA installed. What that leads towards is a lot of times our main output over here is not up at unity but way down low somewhere down here we're actually using our main output as a limiter we build this nice mix and then we've got our main output limiting what's going out to our pa either that or what we get is this is at unity which is ideal but all of our faders are way down low way below unity okay and, and that's because we're having to limit the signal somewhere and we either do it here on the faders or there. Or the third thing I see, and this is common across the board, is we, we actually don't put enough input gain in because we've learned to keep our mains near unity and our, and our levels here near unity. And then what we do is we use our gain way up here in the top left, we use this gain control and we actually turn that down so that that's our main volume and then it's limiting or, or not getting a strong signal into the board. So these are three things that we need to work to fix. So if we start with example number one and it's your main, your PA, uh, you wanna correct that. You wanna try and get your PA tuned properly for your console. The best way to do that is to take music that you that you know is produced well, and we're gonna you know bring it in maybe through aux four and uh, five and six, bring this to Unity. We want to have audio playing, and we want to get to where we can see the audio around negative nine. Negative nine is going to be an ideal place on this console, and then you can set your main output over here to zero and then adjust your PA to where you've got a good, strong level. Give yourself a little bit of headroom. When I mix, I usually have my, uh, my mains between minus five and zero. It just gives me a little bit of flexibility depending on what the band is doing. But let's get into the real solution for today, which is gain structure. So down here on channel 32, I have a microphone right now. I'm gonna do a quick mic check. I have this. Sennheiser 835. It's a standard vocal mic. It's on a little lav. Uh, it's on a, a boom stand here. And what I'm going to try and do is just talk into it as though I'm a pastor. What I mean by that is a vocalist a lot of times will be right up on the microphone right here and or, or right in here, which is fine when you're on stage. Maybe the the three to four finger deal as far as distance goes from the microphone. That's typically a, a close mic scenario. But a pastor, right? Pastor doesn't eat the microphone normally. Maybe your pastor does. But a lot of times you're way far away because it's it's maybe sitting on a um, you know on a lectern or on a on a, a podium or something. So I am right now about seven inches away from this mic. It's running into channel 32, and I want to do a mic check. So my main output is at unity or zero. I'm going to bring my fader up towards zero, but not all the way. It doesn't have to be there to start out with. We just want to make sure that we're getting a good signal. So now what I'm going to do... So what I want to do right now is actually zoom in over here on the top right and we're going to take a look at what I'm doing on the gain and you can see what level I'm trying to shoot for. All right, so hopefully we can see this. Right now I'm talking into the mic and I have nothing coming in. Now I don't need 48 volts. I don't need to flip the phase, anything like that. So I'm just going to start to bring the gain up and let's just bring this gain up here. Okay, I start to see a little bit of activity there. I've got some stuff moving. Oh, I've got two bars moving now. 
my goal is to get the average volume around negative nine, okay? So right now, my average volume is around negative 30. So I gotta keep going up. Let's see here. So I have this gain almost all the way up and I'm, I'm peaking at minus 12. So I'm gonna keep going and see if, what I can get here. All right, so that is all the way up. Now you can see it's really aggressive. See how it's jumping way up high. All right, so I don't wanna to get to negative three. I don't want this mic to clip. If they say hallelujah, you see how it clips? All right, so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. And then I'm gonna have them talk and I'm gonna ask them to talk like they normally would, but I want them to get excited too. So that if they get excited, you can see how it jumps up and it doesn't actually start to clip. That clipping is gonna be bad. And so we wanna keep it in a little bit of a controlled manner. This mic to me, even if I get really excited, hey there, good morning, I'm still not clipping. Now my comfort level, I might turn this down a little bit cause I'm gonna use a compressor next. So I'll turn this down one more click here and that should be good. Now that's a good gain structure. So having a strong gain is crucial to having it pushed downstream to everything else, including your stream. So let's take a look now at the compressor. I'm actually gonna scroll over to the window here. All right, so now we're over at the window. This is the, the home screen or the main screen for, for this microphone. You can see we've got a much better uh, display here. Even if I go over to config tab, I'm gonna have a much better readout there of the gain structure that I've got coming into the console. This is a new feature that they added or a new view that they added for this version 4.0. And it is much nicer to look at uh, than some of the other options that we've had in the past. So we've got that. We can see exactly where the gain is right there. It's at plus 51. And that's just based on the microphone, the input, the cable, uh, and all the other things combined. But let's go over to the compressor and take a look at what I'm gonna do. So this compressor we can see is moving pretty aggressively. Now, what do I wanna do with a compressor, especially for uh, uh, somebody who's speaking, the spoken word, pastor, teacher, um, you have to know your person. If they're very soft spoken and very controlled, then you don't have to do a whole lot of compression. But if they're getting excited and they're jumping and running around on stage, then you may need to do a little bit more compression because your end result is a nice, controlled, even sound. Okay. What a lot of times I run on, on a pastor, you can see I've got an attack here of minus 10. My hold, I'm going to take my hold all the way off. And I kind of want this thing to live in compression the whole time. So I'm going to take my release and turn my release all the way down as well. All that's going to do is going to be very quick to hit my compression and then quick to come off. Okay, so it's, it's going to be impacting things, but you're not going to be hearing it a whole lot. You're going to get the beginning of words, which are really what's going to kill your stream or clip your, uh, your mic input. So the next thing for me to do is set my ratio. This is currently at three to one. You can go four to one. I wouldn't go more than that. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it at three to one for a nice easy thing. Uh, the next thing to do is let's just turn it on so I can activate it here and I can start to roll this back until we start to see some compression. So if I stand in front of this here, I'm gonna use the other knob just cause it's closer to me over here, but we'll start to see some compression. All right. So now I'm pulling out about six dB, maybe even eight or nine dB at the loudest points when I'm actually getting on this mic hot. But you can see that for the most part, even when I'm talking, it's still compressing a little bit. Last thing I wanna talk about is the knee. If we page down here, we've got two, two menus. The knee is this bend here in the middle and that if I go, it's one to five. If I go to five, see how it's really flat? Well, that means it's gonna be really gentle and you're not gonna hear that compressor kick on. This is typically how I run a pastor's mic. I run a, a knee of five, I run a, uh, a ratio of three to one, really fast attack, no hold and fast release. And this gives me some compression. Now, this might be a little aggressive. I'm gonna go back up to the, the previous menu because maybe what I wanna do is, is all this is doing right now is just turning down the loud stuff. But again, we talked about not being able to actually hear the pastor's mic. So maybe what I do is I take my gain because the gain's coming in pretty hot. 
and I turn my gain down just a little bit. We can see that input level now over here is only getting up to about minus 12 when I'm actually getting a little bit excited. So now I've got an okay level. My compressor, I can loosen up on the compressor. I'm, I probably don't need to turn them down all that much. So let's see what that looks like. Let's take out maybe 4 dB. All right, so here we are at about minus 4, minus 5. And now what I can do is take the gain compensation here and turn it up about half. So if I've taken out 4 dB, I'm going to add 2 dB back in. That way when he gets really intimate with the congregation and soft, then even the softest parts are raised up by 2 dB. And then he can get loud and the compressor kicks in and nobody's getting their eardrums burst. So that is setting the gain, which is the huge part of running this console. Set the gain right and you'll, you'll have a lifelong of success. So here we are now, we've got a microphone that's set and right now it's only going to our main out, which has a unity gain uh, on, on the main output fader. But let's talk like we did in a previous video about the matrix setup. So many of you are running the matrix, which is a great option. This is gonna give you the ability to have volume for your, uh, your room on your main outs and then a separate volume for your stream and you can then run the precision limiter on your stream. So if we look right now, this is my level here and you can see it's being very controlled on my, my main fader and it's not going out too much to my matrix. Now, if I bring this main fader up, I gotta reach across here. If I boost that up, you see it's not getting uh, too hot because we have it set as uh, pre-fader, which just means that in here, when I've hit the, uh, the selected the main out and I've gone to my sends, we have a set level going to our matrix. Now, right now it's at minus three. I wanna turn that up to zero. And now we're gonna see that we're getting the exact same level on our matrix as we are on our channel because everything is at unity, okay? So that's really helpful. Again though, it's set up pre-fader. So even if I turn my main volume all the way down, maybe I need my house to be quieter, it's still going into my stream at the same signal level. So that's a win for the stream, okay? And we can tell that because up here on the screen, uh, this, this first set is set to pre-fader. We went through that in a previous video where we selected matrix and we went to the config tab and we set it up as uh, pre-fader. So when you're, when you're designing this and structuring it, you can do that. Check that previous video about setting up a matrix. But back to the microphone and the low signal, what's the next thing we can do? We've got this great signal here, and if we crank it up, we see that we get more signal going into our stream. And if we turn it down, we get less into our stream. So this again is taking our microphone, it's going to our room, and then after the room, it's being copied into our matrix for our live stream. Okay, but starting with that gain structure is crucial. Now, last thing we can, we can do is check our precision limiter. And you can see that I've got the precision limiter set up to, uh, to the matrix one and two. I'm gonna zoom back into the screen here and we can take a look at what's happening better. All right, so if you look at the top uh, controls here, we've got an input and an output uh, volume meter that's showing what's going to our stream, okay? The gain right now is set to zero, which means we're not actually boosting any soft stuff up with this limiter. All we're doing is limiting the top end, but our problem is not the top end. That might be the problem with the band. The top end is controlled here with output gain. I've got that set at negative one, but the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this input gain up and we're gonna to start to see some level going higher on the right side than we are on the left side. So here I'm up at plus nine and you can see how the signal on the far right is much hotter, nine decibels hotter than what's coming in. So that's a win for the stream as well. That's gonna give you a much more controlled, uh, much more boosted signal, much stronger signal going out to your stream. But hey, if they start yelling, then it's still controlled by this top end or when the band is playing, it's controlled at the top end too.
All right, now obviously all of this stuff here is set up and, and running on the matrix. We also talked in a previous video about running a, uh, an, a mix bus here. You can see my mix bus, it's white in color. And that with sends on fader, uh, I've got my, my microphone here at Unity going into my stream, if that was my stream. And so as I'm talking, you see we can get there, the microphone going into our stream. Same thing applies for that. If you give it signal, it's gonna be there. If you turn the signal down, it's not gonna be there. Um, and so we wanna be able to make a, a specific mix with this mix bus or aux bus. And, and then you could run the limiter on the other side of, of that before it goes to your stream, if that's what you're choosing to do. So listen, I hope this video has been helpful. Remember kids, start with the gain because that's where everything comes into the board. And if you set your gain right, everything else will flow good through the end. If you need to fix your, your amps, um, or your mains so that your signals are, are not being limited by your faders. Uh, we wanna keep the gain up. We wanna keep the faders up close to unity and then everything else can be adjusted here on the output or with your amplifiers. So if this has been helpful, give me a thumbs up. I love uh, helping out this crew of people. We're getting some great questions. I've got some other videos coming uh, with me actually mixing on my scene and my setup. But until then, keep making great music and be good. Peace.